welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Pumila Dwaba, aka Mrs. Mom, and finally, the kitchen is done. how many delays they have been I actually never thought my kitchen would finish I didn't see the vision I did a lot of changing and to be honest um, I think I wasn't as prepared as I think I should have been uh, but thank God uh, one thing that helped is bringing Bully on the project because she helped enjoying the kitchen because I was literally just doing a kitchen out of my head and Pinterest pictures um, not taking into consideration a lot of things so um, but yeah we're here now and it is my dream kitchen it looks like my many pictures of Pinterest inspirations and guys the reason why I delayed I know the video is supposed to come out on Wednesday is because my nails were not done and I needed to have like a French mani and a French pedi just to match the aesthetic of my kitchen because like now the vibes have completely changed like I can't just have like sloppy nails like I have to look the part anyway let's get into the kitchen um, behind me is my new stove area if you guys remember this area basically used to be like a pantry like this huge pantry that just had a lot of cupboard space and was dark and homozo said you know what this kitchen is huge let's break this wall down and so everything started i didn't even think i'd be able to 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 have an island but here we are and then to start on this side um we have my obviously my smeg microwave yes guys it's a microwave it's a microwave and an oven i absolutely love it it's built into the kitchen i think it may it gives the kitchen a really nice finish we no longer do those standalone oven microwaves mm -mm, we do built in microwaves microwaves and the nice thing I was actually when I was heating up I realized that it doesn't burn up my my, my dishes because obviously you'd be worried like okay what's gonna happen here but it heats up the food so nicely and evenly like that's the best part of it and then I still haven't discovered what each cupboard space is gonna be like we're taking it step by step but over here we decided to go for open shelves the whole idea of open shelves is I really wanted a modern farmhouse kitchen and I think a lot of make kitchens as well have a lot of shelving and have that mix of modern and farmhouse so that's why we did the shelving the shelving matches my floors and then I'm still kind of playing around with what I'm putting on my shelves um, I got some nice dishes from at home some nice pots with um, they like what do you call these pots I've got to call them from Woolies so I'm basically playing around in styling that and you all know by now that I love wooden boards so obviously my kitchen has a lot of wooden chopping boards um, I've got my books over there and my wooden spoons over here in the middle we've got my magical smeg stove guys I've never cooked dinner so quickly in my life like now I can literally start preparing dinner from half past six and I know it's seven o'clock we're eating because that's how quick my stove is it's amazing it's a gas stove I love a gas stove we're saving on electricity and also it's quick it heats up quickly and obviously the heat goes down just as quickly and then let's get to my stone guys this is my island oh my goodness this island put us through a lot firstly it was full on white and then later on which cost me money i decided i want the island to be um black matte black and this would allow for the stone to shine through and so we went for a matte black color and we went for the impera white um caesar stone very durable very easy to clean and very pretty guys this is really so me and you guys have seen my snaps i'm posting a lot of my food because obviously my countertop is pretty and that's why we want kitchens we want all the prettiness and that's why we cook because we want to snap our food and make it look pretty on the gram all right um cool and then we went for on the island we went for gold um, handles I wanted a kitchen with gold handles but then I changed my mind and because my island was black I figured you know what I could actually do different color handles I don't know if it's done before but I did it and I actually love it and then over here I got this from country road this vase from at home I love these flowers I forgot what they're called but I absolutely love them I think they bring so much light and also make the kitchen feel fresh and light 
Over there in my sink, I put in a, a built-in matte black um, sink with a matte black tap as well. So if, in case you guys haven't noticed, uh, my kitchen is very almost monochrome, um, like very subtle touches of black, like my window, my taps, my knobs, um, my fridge. I'll get to my fridge later, but very subtle touches of black. So my house is very black and white. And then the color comes from my wooden floors, which are obviously from lamb flooring and um and then the little pieces of furniture and the plants and little books here and there and then we've got my smeg appliances so i used to have a white smeg kettle it was very safe but the smeg team and i decided let's add some color since my kitchen is already white and we went for this mint green which i absolutely love and we've got this massive toaster that toasts bread for literally the whole family at one go you don't have to toast a million times you just toast all at one go and then i've got the matching mint kettle and i absolutely love the pear i love the color it brings to the kitchen right and then over there we've got i almost want to call it the life of the kitchen between my fridge and my island one of them is the life of the kitchen i guess they can swap around we went for the retro fab 50 guys like top of the top this fridge is amazing and here's the best part and the practical part the fridge part is actually big and then the freezer part is smaller which makes sense because ideally we're not supposed to freeze food for forever we want to keep um at keep it as fresh as possible. I love that at the bottom, it's got a lot of space. Um, I've kept, I hate plastics in my house. Um, I hate plastic containers, I hate plastic bags. So I try keep it in acrylic um, compartments in my fridge. This keeps my food looking good. I think it looks good, it looks fresh and I can easily see everything and it's not messy and all over the place. So I love that about my fridge. It's a Fab 50. I love that it's in black. It's beautiful. It stands out. It's the life of the party. And then over here we've got a dishwasher. So I've had a dishwasher before. Not one I bought but when in, my, in the apartment we used to live in and we never ever used it. But I promised myself this time that you know what, I'm that girl now. I am going to be using a dishwasher. So we got the Smeg dishwasher and what I like about it is that it doesn't have all like the buttons on it but everything is inside so it's very um, sleek uh, it fits in well it's very silent in the kitchen and it matches really well so you can see the touches of the stainless steel match um, it's basically the dishwasher the stove and the microwave those are my touches of stainless steel and then we've got the black um, uh, the black fridge the black um, island the black tap those are the touches of black and everything is almost white and then we've got the touches of wood that fall in with the with the floors and obviously my chairs these vase stools were a hard find i've been looking and looking and i finally found them it was very important that i get um chairs that match with my lights and as you can see it's a good match everything literally ties in together and is well thought of um, and then we've got my window. I needed a massive window in the kitchen uh, because I've got like a little veggie garden situation going on at the back and we get such beautiful light in the morning. So we got a big window and then we got some beautiful, um, beautiful blinds. We went for classic white blinds and we got this from the curtain cabin. Um, I trust the curtain cabin with all my, with all my curtains. Uh, I'll show you guys as we go along some of the curtains in the house. But for now, these are my blinds, which I absolutely love. They don't um, stop the, the light from coming in but they're also effective at night we can close off and be safe and then guys I'm a new plant mom uh, we've got my little plant hope then we've got my little plant grace and we've got Raja don't ask about Raja but that's just the name we decided to go with and it just makes sense uh, so yeah this is my kitchen guys uh, I think a lot will still change I'm still gonna play around with what goes on the island what goes on the shelves but right now i love what's happening over there we've got a coffee situation where i've got my mags i've uh, got a coffee machine i didn't buy cookies i normally keep cookies in my house but it's due in october so we're not eating cookies so we don't have cookies so yeah this is my kitchen i'm excited um I'm excited about how we came out. I love it. Uh, we worked with amazing suppliers. I will mention them down in case you guys are renovating your kitchen. You know who to contact. Um, the curtain cabin for all your curtain needs, laminate flooring for all your floor needs, Caesar stone for your stone in your kitchen and your bathroom, smeg for all your appliances. As you can see, my house is 
freshly painted. It looks beautiful. The, the paint we had was still fine, but there's something about moving into a new home and having your own fresh paint. It makes it feel new. It makes it feel fresh. It, it, it brings light and excitement to the house. And so we worked with Bonga from Splash Coating Africa. He did Brendan's color. He In Brendan's studio, we actually came up with the color, but in the house, we went for a classic white and they did a good, they did a good job sealing and bringing my kitchen to life so i hope you guys love it um comment down below let me know what's your favorite and yes i haven't forgotten i'm still gonna cook a meal with my pots and yeah i have considered everything you guys have mentioned so we'll see i think i'll cook with brendan uh, in my new kitchen i'm in heaven i love it the kids love it and most importantly my kitchen is very very functional so it doesn't help having this cute kitchen but it's not functional so my kitchen is extremely functional and i am obsessed i hope you guys enjoyed this video um let's get it to 100,000 views let's do it i love you guys keep well